less than 10% of Ugandans have access to mains electricity. Most of the rest rely on expensive and polluting kerosene for light. Solar power is a clean alternative that can be more reliable and affordable. The hard part is distribution, getting the power to the people who need it. By creating a network of local entrepreneurs, an Australian company is doing just that. It's delivery day at the Kampala headquarters of Barefoot Power Uganda. A 40-foot truck pulls up, having just arrived in the country packed to the roof with solar lighting systems. Casual laborers turn up for the chance of three hours fast and furious unloading work. But this is just the beginning of the distribution process. Designed in Australia, built and packaged in China, these solar systems are hot property on the Ugandan market. But good design is only half the battle in a country where nearly 90% of the people live in poorly connected rural areas. Most people like the systems, but access to them is the challenge. The road network is really, really not good. If you have to reach the farthest customer, it takes you a whole day or two days to get to them. And Kaiwa Kagwa sets off to deliver a batch of the newly arrived goods to one of her 200 sales outlets around the country. Uh, Dennis, we have to deliver some boxes in um, the next trading center. Please let me know. Ronald Kabizwa is Barefoot's star entrepreneur. His patch is Masaka district in central Uganda, covering a radius of 300 miles from his dealership in Masaka town. Ronald's main clients are coffee and banana farmers, and his peak sales season is harvest time, when the farmers have disposable income. His top seller is the Farfly desk lamp. He can sell 36 a week during harvest time. This one's being used by his neighbor's daughter. She's revising now using Firefly. She has been able to achieve the best in her education, being the first among 58 pupils in the class. Coffee farmer Kazibwe Apolinali has invested in a higher end solar panel system. As well as lighting his own home, the system allows him to earn extra income. <laughs> but these days, these days, after after getting that money he saves from charging the phones and kelsin, these days he buys beef for his family. Uh, he's no longer waiting for Christmas. <laughs> and even pork. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just sales. Ronald is also responsible for repairs and maintenance. This aftercare service, one of Barefoot Power's selling points, gives customers confidence in a market swamped with unreliable solar products. It was the battery which went down. It's one reason for the company's rapid expansion, together with the energy and determination of its entrepreneurs. I started with only two clients. As I'm talking right now, I'm having like 2,000 and above. In addition to the network of entrepreneurs, Barefoot Power has other important distribution channels. We partner with NGOs to bring affordable light and phone charging solutions to their communities. And we also work with big corporations. So for example, uh, telcos, which may be distributing phones, now have a phone charging solution. So it's a, it's a diverse distribution channel. Using these channels, Barefoot Power estimates it has sold more than 350,000 systems since it was founded in 2005, benefiting more than 1.7 million people. And sales are increasing rapidly. It works. It's just a matter of building awareness and, and, and governments and private sector and public sector coming together to, to recognize that it's a way to to bring people out of poverty. You actually change people's lives in real time. Um, it's dark in somebody's house, they get a light and suddenly it's brighter. It is very fulfilling. I am paid to do the job, all right, but it is very fulfilling to see that I'm actually changing people's lives as I do my job.